Welcome back. Today we're going to get started with single store stored procedures using Python. You can get a link to the code in the description below. Getting started with single store store procedures in Python is really easy. It's just a quick three step process. First, we sign up for a single store license. This is free. Second, we start up a single store cluster, either in the cloud, with virtual machines, or with containers. There's a Docker compose file right here in the repository that allows us to get started with containers really easily. Third, we adjust our connection details and start Python. Let's do it. First, we need to go to singlestore.com slash free, enter in our details, and once we click the link in the email, we'll land here at the customer portal. Now here in the customer portal, I've chosen to spin up a new cluster on single store managed service, so we can use that cluster for our experiments today. Step one is done. Step two is done. Now let's do step three. We'll adjust the connection details and run our code. Here in the portal, I'll come over here to the connect button and look at my connection details. Here is my, here's my host name, copy. Come back here into my application. Host is localhost. Now I can see, I can see here in my details that my master username is admin. So let's set the user to admin and the password, I will use the password that I set inside the portal. Now next up, I need to set my schema in place. Let's open up init.sql and here in the portal, we'll flip over to the SQL editor. Let's set that SQL in place and we can start running it. Let's run this one. Ooh, I can hit control enter to run it. Let's do that. Control enter. Let's create a table. And now we need to switch the delimiter so that in the middle of our store procedures, when we use a semicolon, it won't stop our store procedure. So let's grab the delimiter change. We'll grab each of the store procedures. And finally, we'll set the delimiter back. We've got all those store procedures now created. Let's call messages create to see how it works. Perfect. Yep, we've created our new row. That's great. Now let's run our code. I've already done a pip install. So let's do python main.py. Now this application will do standard create, read, update, and delete mechanisms. Let's go dive into the code to see how that works. We set our connection details, and now we instantiate a standard MySQL connector. We're using the regular MySQL Python library here. Once we've got a database connected, we'll create a cursor. With that cursor, now we're going to do the standard create, read, update, and delete tasks. We'll start out by creating a row. We use the text inserted row. Then we'll go read that row back out by ID. We'll update that row so it no longer says inserted, it now says updated. We'll print that row. Then we'll go read all rows in our database. Finally, we'll delete that row. Let's take a look at each method. First up, create. We're going to call the messages create store procedure passing in our parameter using percent %s. This avoids SQL injection. So let's grab our content and we'll execute that and finally fetch one, which will return the primary key coming out of our store procedure. Looking at that store procedure, here's the messages create store procedure. We take in that content and we insert into messages. And finally, we return that, this query that will grab the last inserted ID. Next up, read one. We're gonna call into the read store procedure Here's the read by ID store procedure where we take in an ID and we go select that ID. Let's take that ID, we'll execute that store procedure and fetch one row and return that to the caller. Read all. We're going to call messages read all store procedure. Here's the messages read all store procedure where we just select all the rows out of the table. Now in our previous one, we did select based on the particular columns. 
Whether we're enumerating the columns or selecting all of the tables, both work great in single store. So we execute messages read all, and we'll go grab the data set. Update. We'll call the update store procedure passing in the ID and the new content, and finally execute it. Here's the update store procedure where we take in that primary key and the content, and we update that row. And then finally, delete. Here we're calling the messages delete store procedure, passing in our primary key, and we'll call this store procedure to do messages delete. Create, read one, update, read all, delete. Now that we've got the code to do these processes, we can swap in this with any application, any table structure. Let's run it again. We started out by inserting row three. Here's that row, it's the inserted row. It was created right now, and here's our primary key. Then we'll read all the row, then we'll update the row, changing the content from inserted row to updated row. And then we'll read all rows. Notice how we didn't get row two that we had deleted in our previous run. We have row one and row three that has been updated. Finally, we'll delete row three. Getting started with single store stored procedures in Python is really easy. Grab a link to the code in the description below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>